I'm Brian Bossner in Trenton, and I'm standing here at Ernie Kovacs' place. So who is this man with the street named after him? Well, he had an offbeat sense of humor and became a famous comedian in the 1950s. And in tonight's moment in time, we take a look back at his hilarious career. There's a standard formula for success in the entertainment medium, and that is uh, beat it to death if it succeeds. Ernie Kovacs was an innovator in comedy, a man of many faces, but always with a smoky cigar handy. Born in 1919 in South Trenton, Kovacs spent his teenage years working in a drugstore, but comedy was his love, and making people laugh quickly became the focus of his life. Ernie began to write a weekly editorial column in the Trentonian, and later he was given a shot at hosting a show on Trenton's local radio station, WTTM, where he got everyone's attention one summer, staying up for a week straight to break a long-standing DJ record. Wanting to break into TV in the 1950s, Kovacs auditioned for a fashion show on WPTZ, now KYW in Philadelphia, showing up at the interview in only a pair of shorts and a barrel. Needless to say, he got the job, and the stage was set for a successful career of smiles and laughter. Kovacs hosted shows like Three to Get Ready and Kovacs on the Corner. A pioneer, Kovacs' brand of trick photography and zany characters changed the way comedy was viewed on television. One well-known character that Kovacs invented was quirky poet Percy Dovetonsils. Today I'm going to read you a poem about dieting in which there will be a clue. I'm so thick of dieting, I really feel bombastic. There's candy without sugar, rolls without butter, and lard that's made of plastic. Poking fun at things from westerns to monkeys in space, some of the special effects done back then seem primitive today, but remember these illusions were something never seen before by a television audience. Those takeoffs are murder. Later in his career, Ernie Kovacs hosted game shows and even made it in the movies, appearing in 10 different films, but tragically in 1962, Kovacs left a Los Angeles party and was killed in a car accident. Kovacs died at the age of 42, but what he accomplished in just a short time has given the world a lifetime of laughter. With another moment in time, I'm Brian Bossler.